Scenes from this year's Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month observance, the event sponsored by the Naval Information Operations Command of Maryland or NIOC, was more of a cultural affair with displays from dozens of countries. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, the Orioles conduct a youth clinic. We have a story on boss volunteers, plus an important reminder for on post residents. These stories and more. But first, on Sunday, Fort Meade and the local chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars staged the annual massing of the colors. Highlights included the U.S. Army drill team and remarks from Grand Marshal Admiral Michael S. Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it to the drill team soldiers. The Military Order of the World Wars is the only organization in the United States that sponsors a massing of American flags and military standards. We are very proud to be part of that event. This occasion allows us to commemorate the sacrifices that American military men and women have made since the founding of this republic. It is always a great day to be a member of Team Meade, but today stands out from others as we have the privilege of partnering with the Military Order of World Wars once again to celebrate all who serve our nation and all who gave the ultimate sacrifice to preserve and advance this great nation of ours. With us today are veterans of every conflict our nation has engaged in since World War II. Veterans of past conflicts sit with veterans of our current conflicts who sit with veterans of our future conflicts. We also have with us men and women of our law enforcement and emergency service professionals who put their lives on the line to protect and serve our communities every day. In our color guards today, as you heard, we have members of the military. We have younger people who are in school, who are Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, Brownies, Boy Scouts, who serve their community as police or fire professionals, who recognize the service of others in the form of Knights of Columbus and other organizations with us today. To all of you, I say thank you for your willingness to do this today, but more importantly, thank you for your participation in this idea of service. In other news, Better Opportunities for Single Service Members or BOSS is probably best known for its recreation programs. According to the Army, participants, quote, enhance their quality of life and contribute to their community also through community service activities. Recently, a local school called out for volunteers and Fort Meade BOSS volunteers responded. Hundreds of kids from Monarch Academy and Glen Burnie arrived by the bus load for their annual field day. Okay. Event organizers were thankful for the volunteers that made it all happen. Back in November, we be, um, started a relationship with BOSS through Partners in Education, and they have been helping out quite a bit. They, um, a couple of their soldiers come out to read to the students during the year, and for this event in particular, they've been an integral part. They provided like a lot of the equipment we needed to run our different activity stations, they provided water coolers for us and especially manpower. They brought in like 10 volunteers and they were, they were, it was a huge impact on our event because like they helped out where parents weren't able to. Without them, this event wouldn't have been a success. And I really appreciate all their effort, especially um, Corporal Johnson. She was a huge help in making this happen. We spoke with a couple of the boss members about spending their free time volunteering. What brings me out is like, it's a new atmosphere. It's something like, it's for a good cause. Like, and it just, it warms my heart and I know it helps these kids out. So, that's what draws me out here. Okay. So, other than the pizza, what's bringing you out here? Um, I do a lot of volunteer work with the schools, so just coming out to help them be there because they're always so short-handed and I feel like if they're short-handed then it's not going to work the way it should. So being here is just going to make it better for the kids. About 10 BOSS volunteers helped Monarch Academy raise approximately $15,000 for the school's PTA. Meanwhile, a note from Corvius Military Living, the community center pools are opening this weekend, Saturday, May 23rd at 11 a.m. for the Memorial Day weekend. There are a couple of things to remember. Residents will need a pool pass. Passes are available at the community centers. And four guests are allowed per family. These are the pool hours for the summer, Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., weekends and holidays, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. An important note, weekday pool hours are 4 to 8 p.m. until the school year gets out. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.